So it looks like it's Don Jr. on the menu today. So I hope you like the, the video. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is part two of the four-part series of the Trump Trump and his kids. So I uh, just did uh, Ivanka. So if you haven't seen that, you can go back and find that. And here's Donald Trump Jr. What are we going to find out about him? Okay, so here's uh, what's uh, at stake. So um, he, he's gone so crazy right wing that it's amazing. He, it, him and his dad are going to uh, narrate some sort of a fight. I mean, that's the, the kind of publicity they uh, stoop to. Um, he's been selling himself cameo appearances for, I don't know, 500 bucks. Uh, happy birthday, he'll say to you, or whatever. Uh, it's amazing. The, the other thing, too, is the cocaine situation. He's been on stage completely blitzed. And then this uh, girlfriend, are they married yet? Uh, Guilfoyle? Uh, what a name. And she was, of course, ex-wife of a uh, fellow in California. So what a mess that must have been. Well, anyway, let's find out what we can find out. Uh, we'll just ask all the questions about Junior. What is he going to do? So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Carabillo cards. And i got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that, they're, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. Then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The, um, I've not put them in the box well. The, A little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a, a very you know, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. Donald Trump Jr. What a mess this guy's in. And um, so I bet the money has pretty much dried up. I know he was supposed to, I saw something uh, where he was supposed to go to, to endorse someone or some product. I don't even remember what it was, but uh, they said, oh, uh, Don Jr. missed his airplane, so he couldn't be here. So he's here by telephone. I think he can't afford to fly. That's exactly what I think. So... Don Jr., how far down the rabbit hole, how quickly has he fallen? Because um, at least Ivanka and Kushner, they've got all these other side ventures uh, independent of, of Trump. But I don't know what Jr.'s got. I mean, if he was selling appearances, you know, like he'll call you up or, or record a, uh, what is it, Zoom? I don't know who does it. But record a happy birthday or how you doing or congratulations for 500 bucks, even if it was, you know, $1,000 or $1,500. Uh, Rudy Giuliani was doing the same thing for... I want to say a hundred bucks, but it might have been five hundred dollars. So, John Jr., first of all, let's, let's ask about the cocaine. Uh, and then, because we haven't seen him in a while, and then let's ask if he is going to be able to save himself in this mess. John Jr., cocaine, 
and we'll be able to save them stuff. Then if you think of some other questions, we'll do those. Okay, so we'll do a uh, diet cross. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I've been thinking here in my head is that I'm sure this uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle has an awful lot to do with all of that, as a matter of fact. Not to say that he probably one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he, uh, that wasn't on his um, menu already, but this seems to be out of control. So the signifier card for uh, Don Jr., the cocaine, if you can show us about uh, the Guilfoyle's involvement, that's great, and then we'll finish up on something else. Signifier card for that is strength. It's very interesting to get strength as a signifier card. I don't know what to think of it. I think we just have to let it sit there and stew for a minute. But, uh, you know, right off the bat, it makes me think of his girlfriend. And um, strength. That's five, six, seven, eight. That's eight in the major arcana. That's, that's pretty well up there. The um, challenge to that card, then, is the Knight of Pentacles. And sure, of course it's the Knight of Pentacles. That's, I think, who he is. I mean, he's really trying to fight for his worth. I think this guy is trying to figure out uh, how to make some value out of what's left right now. So in his uh, family, he's not the King of Pentacles, but uh, he's trying to figure something out. So that's the Knight. And uh, very interesting. And But that Knight, of, that trying to get this done is a challenge to the strength. So maybe it just is just that sap uh, on the strength. But apparently he's got some fortitude there. It surprises me. Uh, the base of this reading for, well, we're trying to get to the answer. We're trying to find out about the drugs. The base of this reading then is, um, wow, the nine of wands. And the nine of wands, again, is being very embattled. You can see all the actions, all the plans behind him here that he's he's come through. And he's still standing with another plan right here. He's really embattled. And I think that's a fair uh, assessment, actually. Um, and the, the uh, this card is called uh, Great Strength, by the way. So very interesting that this whole reading, when I'm trying to talk about the um, drug use, is focusing on strength. Very interesting. The past of this reading, then, for uh, Donald Trump Jr. is uh, the Princess of Pentacles. So the princess is going to be equal to a page of Pentacles. So, um, but, I mean, she is fully in the royal family. You know, a page is just a messenger. A princess has got a little bit of skin in the game, but she's bringing the amount of value that she has. So in the past, I would say, yeah, he was kind of like a princess because really Ivanka was always the prince. Very interesting. So um, we don't have to get hung up on the sex of the cards, uh, by the way. And then the uh, sky of this reading uh, to see if we get to uh, some sort of a, uh, an answer about the uh, drug use is uh, the Princess of Wands. So very interesting. So he had worth, but he was looking to be the one in charge uh, of his actions with this wand and fire and uh, being in the position that it's in. So that's interesting. Um, he knew he couldn't be the prince. Uh, the uh, near future of this, or the likely outcome then, is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. And this tells us that uh, this is someone who is going to fight uh, for what they think they're due. My goodness. This guy is just not going to let go. And he's not going to let us talk about the drugs. So we just have to give up on that and see where this takes us. I feel compelled to give these cards a shuffle for some reason. So let's do that. And then spread them out and see what the rest of this will make the full Celtic cross tells us about uh, Don Jr. so far. So, so far it's tells us that he's mustered up some sort of an inner strength. And maybe that's been bolstered by uh, these drugs. I don't know. If it is, that's a short-term solution. Uh, he comes in uh, challenged by the uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles. So he comes in here fighting for his value, uh, underpinned here by the Nine of Wands, which is, you know, really having been embattled, still holding on to something, but really beat up. In the past, he was the princess of Pentacles, but no, he was never the prince of the family. That was always Ivanka. And so and, but so to shoot for the best that he could do would be the princess of actions, of making things happen. Look at me, and uh, which Ivanka pulls off so coolly but without almost uh, looking like she's trying. And so the outcome of this whole thing is that somehow he's going to end up the queen of swords. So really fully in charge of his, his, uh, his truth as much as he can be. The self of this reading then for Junior is... Um, oppression okay so this is the ten of wands so this is right now this moment just 
embattled. Just really embattled. We probably don't see it as much as he feels it. Uh, the environment that that's in then is the, um, let's see, seven of coins. And the seven of coins is, you know, just looking back a couple of different ways. At what, what I've left behind or have I done enough? Uh, or I'm just able to get a little bit of this value out of here because the rest isn't ready yet. Will it ever be? So, and so, and then this card is called Success Unfulfilled. So that's very interesting. So carrying this uh, load up is looking back and saying, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know if I have enough. And then the sky, uh, the hopes and fears for this is um, the Empress. The hopes and fears is the Empress. It's so funny that he doesn't see himself as a king. Uh, but the Empress is a, certainly, you know, this almost seems like a, um, a psychotic a wish. I wonder if this is what is looking through his dr uh, drug-induced uh, eyes. Huh. Uh, but the hopes and fears is that, that he comes up as the Empress. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is right here. Defeat. <laughs> so this card is called Defeat, and this is the Five of Swords, and this is an abuse of power. Or or somehow having your, your power taken away from you. Okay. I don't see this as him retaining uh, three swords. I just don't. I see this as, as him being uh, cut off. So that's what I've got for Eric right now. So that didn't we didn't get anywhere near this to me is looking through his cocaine eyes at what his his life is right now. And so that's what I think we've got there. Uh, I'm going to do another draw right now on Don Jr., but I want to ask, um, is he going to go to jail? Just flat out. I just want to know, in three cards, is uh, Jr. going to go to jail? Let's just uh, get right to the bottom of it. And um, I, I kind of don't think so. I think he will do whatever he has to. It may be that it takes uh, two or three of those kids to get to the bottom of their dad. And who will probably plead insanity in the end. But uh, so, uh, is he going to jail, Junior? Is Junior going to jail? Three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what we got here. Donnie, let us know. Are you in for it? So this is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, you know, I don't associate this with going to jail at all. But I see it, uh, again, I think we're still in a haze. The... It's really fighting for your value. The uh, the next card up then is the uh, the two of uh, wands. Well, the two of wands is short term planning, and so uh, it could be that there's some sort of a uh, um, a restraint uh, that's put on him uh, in the short term. Uh, this is called dominion. This card, and then the last card in that is going to be the five of wands, which is, you know, a lot of inconvenience, uh, really a difficult situation that you can't seem to get through. And this card is called Strife. So it looks like, I don't know if he'll go to jail, but it looks like he's going to have his value somehow restricted, uh, you know, in an uncomfortable way, obviously. So I would say, I don't know that he's going to go to jail. I don't think so. That's what I've got for you here. So I didn't save those cards to go back over them because it was all pretty clear. Yeah, the first set was he's just looking. That's his drug-induced haze uh, uh, look through uh, at what his life is right now. And uh, that's why he can't come to a conclusion. And in the end, I think he'll do whatever he has to do to, um, to minimize his trouble. Just like his dad, they're all cowards. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.